Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to override dimensions. And I like to show you on the sheet metal model, so we will create new model. We will create the extrude feature in sheet metal mode. And I will simply create some shape here. So over here, really simple. And maybe this dimension will be 100 and this dimension will be also 100. So let's see what will be the result. And if I will finish, we see right now that if I will check, for example, the thickness will be three and internal dimension is three. So what does it mean? If I will show the dimensions directly here, we see that 100 came from the edge to end of the line and also from the this edge to end of this line. So bending is here. If I will finish feature, I'd like to use the unbend. So we will use the unbend and I will finalize. What does it mean? That if you will check the development length here, so if I will select edit only, we see the development length is 6.29. If I will double click, it's much better. So what does it mean? That if you would like to make the measurements, so for example, we will use the analysis and measure and length, the first edge is 94, second edge is 94, and rest is 6.21. So altogether, it's not 200, because in the middle is the development length, and always the full length is different. So what does it mean if you will check here from this surface to this edge, the whole length is 194, but maybe you would like to show on the drawing that the length is 200 or let's see let's try we can play with it a little bit yeah so i will create quickly drawing and we will use the same name yes yeah? so over there is possible to use the same name in creo 8 and if i will confirm ok we can create directly some empty format i will apply general view and we will simply select the front surface. Top will be better yeah, regarding the orientation. And also maybe we would like to see the diff this in the view display. I will use the hidden line. So we will see where all objects are there and the tangent edges will be dimmed. So, okay, it will be much better. Now you see the 94, 94 and the rest. And I said that I'd like to show you how to override dimension. So first thing, if you need to manage the data, so for example, if I will show the custom dimension, so I will select the edges and then also we will create here with control button and then maybe the full length yeah, of the sketch. Perfect, so now it looks good. And we would like to continue. What you maybe would like to show is the axis. So if you would like to show the development axis, maybe we can try if it is here. Yeah. So I will select this axis and confirm OK. Only that is in the middle. Only to show the, the band line. As I mentioned, if you need to override dimension, for example, 6.21, you would like to set your custom development length and you know from the previous tutorial how the system calculate this development length, you are able to jump into model. So if I will open the model and then you will select the edit definition. So maybe it's better to select from this menu and the system will show me the dimensions. So for example, you know that your development length, you have checked it on the shop floor what is the result and maybe the result is eight. So directly you can place eight and you see that system extend it. So if I will regenerate and maybe quick analysis, the length now will be eight millimeters. And also in the drawing, the, the length will be eight. What is necessary to do is the update sheet. So you are possible to update the sketch. This is the first think how you can override so you can write what you want but also maybe you would like to you don't want to change the default preferences for the development length so 
I will reuse the same information. So I will select double click and over here, return to driven. So what does it mean? It will be again 6.21, but in the drawing, I will directly jump here and again update. We would like to change this dimension. I don't want to see 6.21 by something different. And you see that if I will select the double click, the system show me the necessary information for the dimension. And in the dimension text, now the system will use the dimension as the D. And D means that it's a dimension. If you place here O, it will be as the override. And then directly here, you are able to set, for example, 8.00, maybe if you would like to use it like this. And you see that system write what you want. So also, if you would like to uh, write something more, you are able to write the comment. So O here means override and directly you can use the, the note here. Also, it's possible to add some symbols easy and as necessary. Okay, so it was the first example how it's possible to override dimension. So one more time, if you have a dimension, you can select dimension text and from the D you will write O and then custom text. Perfect. Another example what I'd like to show you is that you are able to create and reuse the symbols or we can say the parameters and also you can show dimension or you can the create dimension. So I will create these dimensions. This is the 100. And now I'd like to reuse the symbol. What does it mean? This dimension name is the AD15 in the drawing. So I am able to set custom name, for example, with, if I will hit the enter, the system still show the dimensions, but if you select the dimension text and you will change D to S as the string, the system will take the name of the dimension and reuse. Yeah, so this name now is not driven by dimension text, but the name of the parameter or simply the same parameter from the dimensions. It works same for from the drawing, dimensions created in the drawing or show from the model. In this video tutorial, you have learned how it's possible to change the development length on the sheet metal parts or how it's possible to override dimension text from the D as the dimension to O as the override or S as the string. Stay tuned and bye bye. Vladimir.